Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And if it's your first time here, hi, I am Ruth, soon to be Dr. Ruth. But for right now, we know we're going to stick to Ruth. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about how to self-examine your breasts for breast cancer at home. Uh, you don't need anything to do it. All you need is your fingers and you'll be good to go. Uh, and you'll need some soap and water. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. But first, let's get to the hair. Let's get to the hair. Let's get to the hair. Let's get into the... It's some curls on the bottom. Let's get into the hair. Well, y'all didn't come here to see my hair. Y'all came to see how to self-examine your breasts. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, but before we get into it, <clears throat> my guys, please excuse my voice. I'm fighting a cold right now. But before I do start, I want to say, so please be sure to send this video to any woman that you love. Like, if you love her, send this video to her right now. Uh, whether it be your mom, your grandma, your sister, your auntie, your niece, your best friend, your wife, your girlfriend, send this video to them. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Breast cancer is one of the most common cancers in the U.S. in the world. And it's proven scientific facts that minorities are most likely to get diagnosed with it, specifically black women versus like, you know, Caucasian people. Um, so if you're a black girl, please make sure, not only if you're a black girl, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> we're like the main ones that need to be making sure that we're, you know, keeping up with it because we're the ones that are most like mostly diagnosed with it so when you're examining your breasts you want to look for any changes in shape color and size of your breast and nipples and then you all you also want to look for dimples in your skin and for any pulling in of the nipples so these are things that you're looking for when you're self-examining um now there are three different ways you can examine your breasts and there's also three different like Three different, how should I say it? Um, how can I say this? Three different, there's three different settings and three different methods for each of the settings, okay? So, well, not for each, for two of them. So, where where you can check your breasts, you can check, you can examine it in front of a mirror, you can examine it laying down, and you can examine it in the shower. So, when you're examining it, standing up in the front of the mirror, when you're going to stand up, um, basically, you're going to place your hands on your hips, and you're going to press firmly. So, what this does is it flexes, oh, of course, when you're self-examining, you're not going to have any clothes on. <clears throat> but you know I'm gonna keep my clothes on but I'm just letting you know when you're examining of course you're not gonna have any clothes on so you're gonna place your hands on your hips and you're gonna press press firmly so what this does it, it flexes your chest muscles so when your chest muscles are flexed any abnormalities is gonna be easier to see it okay so any abnormalities that you may be having going on uh, within your breast any difference in appearance, it's gonna be easier to see it because your chest muscles are flexed. Other than examining your breasts in front of a mirror, you can also examine it in the shower or laying down. Now the best way to do it is lay or in the shower because it's gonna be easier for your fingers to glide around your breasts because you're gonna have soap and water involved, which makes it easier. But you can also do it laying down. So if you're doing it laying down, before I get into the methods, I just want to explain the positions. So if you're doing a laying down, you want to make sure you have like a small pillow or like a folded towel under um, the shoulder. So let's say I was doing my left breast first, right? So I would have like a small, a small pillow or a folded towel under my left shoulder. Then I would get my arm and put it like behind my head like this. Of course, I'm laying down. And then I'm going to use my right hand to examine my breast. And if I'm doing my left my right breast i'm going to put the pillow under my right shoulder and use my left hand or left fingers to examine same thing when you're in the shower except you're going to be standing up you're going to put your right hand behind your head and examine with your left finger and then vice versa i hope that makes sense okay so there's three different methods you can use when you're examining your breast the first one is the circular motion the second one, I'm gonna call it the pie, and then the third one, I'm gonna call it up and down, or I'm gonna call it UD. Let's say I'm examining my right, I'm gonna put my hand behind my head, and basically you're gonna use three fingers, and when you're examining, by the way, 
you're using this right here. You're not using like the tips of your fingers. You're using like the finger pads because they're more sensitive um, and it's gonna be easier to, um, it's gonna be easier to detect any like lumps or anything of that sort by using your finger pads. So you're gonna use three or four, me I'm using three. Uh, if you're going to start in the outer area, and also don't forget to examine your armpits because sometimes you have lumps in there too and that can indicate breast cancer. Uh, so you're going to start in the outer area and you're basically just going to work your way in to the center of your breast. You're going to work your way in to where your nipples are at and then you're going to do it again working your way out. So that's what you're going to do. Boom. Shabuya. And you're going to do the same thing for the other side. You're going to start out and then you're going to work your way in. So that's how you do for the circular method. So when you're using the pie method, you're just going to imagine you have like visually cut your... I didn't explain this the best, but you're basically just going to visually cut your breast into a pie. And you're just going to go in and out in that direct motion. So if you look at the arrows, it's like on both ends. So you're going to go towards one end and then back out towards the other end and then you'd move to the next part of the pie and then the last one is up and down so basically you can start like from the armpit area and you basically just go like this like it's kind of awkward for me to do it like i'm trying i'm trying to position my head right but it's like weird for me right now um and you're just going up and down so that's basically how you do it, guys. Please make sure that you're regularly examining your breast. Regularly does not mean every single day, maybe like at least once a month. Um, Cause if you do examine it too often, if you examine your breast too much, then you won't be able to tell the difference. So don't do it too oftenly, um, but do it often enough, okay? Um, and if you do notice any lumps, anything that's abnormal, immediately go to your OBGYN and just mention that to them so they can make sure do any tests that they need to do on you just to make sure that you don't have breast cancer and if you do at least you'll be able to find out early on before it's too late oh please note that just because you have any lumps it does not automatically mean that you have breast cancer this is why it's important to go to your OBGYN and just to confirm so happy breast cancer awareness month please make sure that you're continuing to do this not just during the month of october every single month examine your breast it doesn't take long you can do it you can get two things done at once take a shower and examine it at the same time and it won't take too much time out of your day i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was very informational for you uh please be sure to share with any woman that you know or love in your life um this can really save anyone's life i hope this made sense for you if you have any questions or like more videos related to women's health um i'll definitely be posting more once i figure out what type of content to post in that um field but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informational for you um and that's all for today's video thank you guys and have a nice rest of your day god bless you all bye